guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. For today's video, I've got another unboxing for you and it's these two sets here. So this set is the um, Persian Cat Twin Sisters in these special edition dresses. So they've got little flowers on them. And then the second set is this um, furniture set with a uh, Persian Cat's mother figure and it's got this lovely special print on it. So I'm not sure of the official bios of these characters, but I like to think that um, this is an auntie to the Persian cat family and this is her daughters, so they would be cousins to the other Persian cat sisters. So yeah, the auntie and her daughters. Uh, these were another two sets that I've been wanting for quite a while and they came out in Japan I think in 2021 or 2022, I can't quite remember. They're official Sylvanian family shop online exclusives or not online exclusives, but they're, they're, you can only get them in the official Sylvanian family shops and the official website. Um, I actually got these th through Kobe Japan, which is a really great site for getting those exclusives because obviously um, this Japanese Sylvanian family's website doesn't ship outside of Japan, unfortunately. I was kind of waiting on these, thinking that they'll probably get a UK release eventually, but I was placing an order anyway, so I thought I would go ahead and throw these in instead of waiting any longer because I was getting very impatient because it, it's quite unpredictable how long something's going to take to get to released in the UK if it ever gets a release at all. So let's start by having a little look at the boxes. So for the twin uh, Persian Cat Sisters set, I this box is very, very cute. So it's got this lovely scalloping detail and obviously they're in um, a little room in the box and then it's got flowers and strawberries and uh, kind of matching details to what's um, embroidered on their dresses. And that pattern follows all the way around. And there's obviously some information here on the back. Again, in very cute floral border here. On the top, you've got more scalloping. And then on the side, it's the same as the other. And on the bottom is the kind of usual warnings. I just really love this packaging. I like when they do uh, kind of specific packaging like this and I like it when they make it really nice and detailed. You can see there's little plant pots on the, the window sills that match what's on their dresses. And then this box is a little bit plainer, but it's still very pretty. So you've got kind of a, almost a wallpaper patterning on the box and then uh, floral detail trimming along the bottom here. And then that wallpaper patterning kind of follows all the way around. It's the plain purple bottom. You've got the warnings on the back here and you've got a lovely image here which shows the furniture all set up with this cute floral kind of border. And then you've got this part here which obviously shows you everything that comes in the box. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get everything out off camera, then I'll set it up here and we can have a closer look. So I've got everything out of the box now and I've just set up the furniture in the bottom floor of this uh, starter cottage here. I thought it would be nice to see it kind of in a room setting so you can kind of get an idea of the uh, scale. Um, before we take a look at that though, I just wanted to show you the insert to the twins box. The... It's very cute and obviously without them in there you can see the details a little bit better but it's just such a detailed background it's outside the window all the little flowers kind of in the garden it's very very pretty very ornate lovely wallpaper and then it's got this cute little kind of frieze going around the top of the room and then even on the paneling it shows the the two kind of icons of the dress flowers and strawberries and then the floor is like tiled yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was um, a really nice uh, kind of level of detail on the packaging. So now let's have a, a closer look at the figures. So first of all, the Persian cat twin sisters. So here is the uh, white twin sister and she's obviously in this very beautiful pink dress. It's got little checks on the skirt and then lace trimming. It's got lovely lace panel here with these little brown buttons, collar, this really adorable little beret with a ribbon on it. And then this is embroidered on, so this detail here is embroidered on. You've got some flowers and some little strawberries here. 
I really love this outfit. I think it's so sweet. See her little tail poked out the back. I love the pink and the white. And then her sister is obviously the grey coloration. And then she's got this very pretty blue and white dress. So it's, it's kind of like a pinafore. So she's got the skirt and then some little straps and then you've got a little white kind of blouse underneath. It is all one piece, but I think it's meant to kind of look like a pinafore rather than a dress. She's got these little blue buttons, her little tail pops out the back. She has a matching hat with a little bow as well. And then she's got these lovely blue buttons and then her embroidery is, I think they're meant to be maybe daffodils. Yeah, she's got these lovely flowers and then some little smaller blue flowers embroidered on there as well. I absolutely love how they look together. I love the colorations they've chosen with their, with their fur colors. And I love that they wear their little hats on different ears. I just think they look so cute and they look like they're all dressed up to have a nice tea with their, um, with their mother. And then from the furniture set, the mother figure, she's got a really pretty dress and it's um, in a kind of the print on this is so detailed and absolutely beautiful. So she's got green trimmings um, throughout her outfit which matches the kind of aesthetic of the furniture set. And then the front panel of her dress here, she's got the matching print to the seat cushions. And then it's got a contrasting but complementary print on the rest of the dress which is just absolutely beautiful, it's so detailed. And then the, the lace that they've chosen to trim the dress with is also very, very detailed. She's got lace up around her collar as well. And then her little tail pops out the back and she's got this very cute little green bow just in the middle. Just really love her outfit. I think the detail on the dress is absolutely beautiful. So that's the three figures. And then if we have a look at the room set furniture, I'll pop them to one side. So this is everything that you get uh, in the furniture wise. So I think pretty much all of it is just recolorations of existing furniture. So this kind of sofa table setup seems to be quite standard. It just gets released in uh, different colorways. So there's a little magazine rack here with two little magazines. Um, and they're properly printed. So there's one about, I don't know whether the camera's gonna focus on it, but there's one about flower arranging and it's got proper little details printed in it and then there's also one about stargazing and again it's got proper little pages printed in it and then I think we've seen this magazine rack before the only thing I'm not sure that we've seen before is this lamp so the lamp has a lovely shade which matches the rest of the fabric in the room and then underneath the shade it's um, pink and then it's got this white ornate stand. I've been wanting a lamp for a while somehow I don't think I actually have a, um, very many standing lamps like this so it was nice to see one included in the set. And then the chairs are nice and detailed, they've got um, the same kind of print or, or the same mould as the other chairs but there's some nice uh, gold detailing. Uh, brought out on them and obviously the fabric pattern on the cushions is very pretty. I also really like this green colour. It's almost a callback to that original uh, kind of tomey dark green furniture but in a much lighter colour. And then the table again has some gold trimming and detailing called out. And then on the table you get this cute, very pretty little pink tea set and some biscuits. I love the detail, I just grab one of the cups so you can have a closer look. But I love the detail on the saucer. So it's got this lovely little floral trim. They're a light pink colour, it's not showing up so well on camera. And then on the bottom it's got this cute little bunny stamp, almost like where the kind of maker stamp would be. And then the little teacup, it's got a very ornate little handle and then it's scalloped all the way around the top. Again, a light pink colour and again it's got this little bunny ear stamp on it, bunny silhouette uh, where the maker stamp would be. And then the plate is very similar 
to the saucers just in a larger size and then you've got the teapot as well the little teapot's got scalloped feet and the lid comes on and off again this very pretty pale pink colour and then I think we'll just pop everyone in having tea So there we are, I've just popped everyone in to have their tea and biscuits together. I think this makes for a really cute little setup. I'm not quite sure what building I'm going to put this furniture in yet. There's a few buildings I have that need furniture, so it will definitely have somewhere to go. I'm just not quite sure which one I want to pop it in yet. I'm thinking maybe the field view mill might be quite good, but I'm not sure whether this is a bit too ornate and maybe that's a bit too kind of rustic. I'm not sure, I have to see what it looks like. So yes, really happy to have these items in my collection now. I've been eyeing them up since they came out, so it's, it's nice to finally have them. I think the level of detail is really lovely, really nice, and I think you get uh, quite a good amount of furniture in the furniture set, and obviously it's always nice to get a figure with the sets. And then for the twin set, I think the outfits uh, really make that set. I think it makes them really worthwhile. I know we've been seeing a lot of Persian cats lately. They almost seem like they've kind of taken over from the chocolate rabbits in being in every set, but at least they're releasing them in different outfits. So that's always helpful rather than having the same outfit over and over. It's just a very large Persian cat family and extended family. But yes, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which of the two dresses on the Persian cat twins is your favourite. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.